how to play the intro for Sweet Home Chicago, specifically the version played by Matt Guitar Murphy on the Blues Brothers soundtrack or the Blues Brothers movie. So for the beginning of that, I'm going to the 12th fret on the B string, 10th fret on the E string. I'm sort of doing this alternate picking. And then I'm going down to the um, 10 on the B and the 9 on the E. And then I'm just sliding that down indefinitely. So as far as the strings for that alternate picking, it's B, E, B, B, E, B. Then those, uh, that second part. Okay. And then I'm doing a bend on the 8th fret on the B string. And then um, I'm bending up and then without coming back down, going right to the um, ninth fret on the G string. So, and then it does it again. Okay, and then for that next part, it's that same alternate picking that you're using on the B and the E string right here, only we're using it on the um, D and the B string. And that's on the ninth fret, so ninth fret uh, B string, ninth fret D. Then a half step down. Then a half step down again. So you're going nine fret, eighth fret, seventh fret, and then just this sixth fret on the um, D string. Then I'm using my second finger to go 7th fret, 8th fret, and then when I land on that ninth fret, I'm actually playing a, a voicing of a B7 chord. So that would be my second finger on the D string on the ninth fret, first finger on the G string on the 8th fret, and then my third finger is going to be on that B string on the 10th fret. And just those three. Okay, so all together. to any type of blues shuffle groove that you're used to playing. If you don't have a go-to, you can do this little shuffle riff that's just on the, using an open E string and then on that A string fretting two and four. And you could just do all down strokes. Um, and if you do a little palm muting, meaning you just barely put your palm um, over the, the bridge right there, it'll keep it from having too much sustain so you get that more of that blues feel and then you would just move that pattern um, up to the next two strings to your open A and then your D string is where you're fretting two and four so when it gets to the B chord if you've got the, the reach um, you can do uh, first finger, second fret on that um, A string, and then that D string, third finger, fourth fret. So you're just playing the low end of a B bar chord. And then you're using your pinky to go up to that sixth fret. Or you could just play these with down strokes. And then that open A with that D fretted on the second fret. five chord. You can use it for that turnaround part of the song, but then you can also, the part of the song that has those stops, one and one is two, six and two is eight. You can use that same nine chord, but in this case it would be an E9 up here. So to play that would be, I've got my first finger, first fret on the D string, second finger, second fret A string, third finger, second fret G, and then fourth finger, second fret on that E. Okay, so these three fingers are all on that second fret. You just got that um, first finger on that first fret. So that's your B7 or B9, and then when you move up here, that's your E9 to where your first finger is on the sixth fret. So all together, um, coming out of. Going up and catching that 
with friend Back to that same old place Sweet home Chicago And then you would slide into that B9 and then just start right back over And then when it comes to the stops You're taking that same chord shape um, Up to that 6th fret 1 and 1 is 2 6 and 2 is 8 Come on baby Don't you think me Part of the riff. You want to go? Now you can pretty much play the whole song with just those chords and that little blues shuffle riff. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let us know if you watched. We'd love to hear from you. If you have any questions or there's anything you want us to cover, let us know in the comments and we'd be glad to give it a shot. Enjoy. Happy playing.